A final example of a separable differential, we have x squared dw dx equals the square root of w for x plus five. Um, once again, we're gonna to try to isolate all the terms with x to one side and all the terms with w to another side. Um, and dw or w, excuse me, is going to be the dependent variable because it appears in the numerator of the differential. So um, what we're gonna do first is let's divide both sides by x, all right? So we're gonna say, dw dx is going to be equal to the square root of w over x squared, excuse me, and we're going to say quantity 4x plus 5. Now we're going to multiply both sides by dx, so we're going to get dw um, is going to be equal to, so dw is going to be equal to our square root of w over x squared, and then we have 4x plus 5 dx. And then finally, let's divide both sides by the square root of w. So we're going to get dw over square root w is going to be equal to 4x plus 5 over x squared dx. Right? Now, we have to try to prepare this for integration. Right? And the left-hand side is pretty easy. We could just rewrite that as w to the minus one half dw. Well, on the right-hand side, what I'm gonna do is split this up into two fractions because I'm dividing by a monomial. So this is gonna be four x over x squared plus five over x squared. Or in other words, we can write that as four over x plus five x to the minus two quantity dx. All right, just by going through and simplifying those algebraic and now we could just integrate term by term. On the left-hand side, this is gonna become w to the one half divided by one half. On the right-hand side, antiderivative of four over x is four ln of x. On the, um, also five x to the minus two, that's going to be plus five x to the minus one over minus one. And then we have plus our constant of integration. Now, if we simplify this a little bit, we can write this as 2w to the 1 half ln x to the fourth power by using that rule of logarithms minus 5 over x plus c. All right, um, just moving the x to the minus 1 back down to the denominator and then pulling the negative 1 out. We're going to divide both sides by 2 because we have to solve in terms of the dependent variable. So we're going to get w to the 1 half is going to be equal to one half ln x to the fourth minus five over two x plus c over two. Right? And then finally, we can take the um, we can square both sides. All right, because we're trying to undo a one half power, which is really a square root. So a couple ways we can write this answer. One of which is we could say one half ln of x to the fourth minus five over two x plus c over two square. Okay. Um, another thing we could do is we could just operate on this ln of x to the fourth to the one half because that would become ln of x to the fourth times one half or ln of x square, all right, if we were to simplify. And so another version of this might be ln of x square minus five over two x plus c over two quantity square. All right, so um, again, just depending on how much simplification that you'd like to go through, um, both the answers are certainly viable. All right, um, the second one's just a little bit cleaner. All right, but it really doesn't matter at that point because they're both fairly ugly to look at. All right, so that's what we're gonna look at with our basic separable differential equations. We have one more type of differential to look at, which is gonna be a linear differential. And that's going to be in the next section of videos that we look at.